Hi everybody, um, welcome back to Christmas Workshop. So right now what I'm going to do is our second activity. Um, so in your packet, it would be, if you flip the, flip the first page over, it's on the back, and it is the cookie cutter glue ornament. So in your bag, you will find a baggie that has a um, cookie cutter and a little bottle of glue, and then a baggie that has glitter in it, and I think if you look, you'll find there are also a few beads in there. And then I also added a few things to mine. So I, I went and found some extra um, beads that I can add to mine. And I'll show you one that I kind of made at home. I've had to experiment with this, I'll be really honest with you. Um, these take two to three days to dry and you have to put enough glue in that they're not super um, brittle, like so they don't crack really easily. Um, but if you put too much, it takes too long for them to dry. So here's one that's kind of finished that I still need to put a hanger on it, but I just put glue in a cookie cutter and added some beads and things. And um, so I hope that you'll enjoy this. So what you're gonna do is, I like to do this on a plate. So I, so that way you can move it around and it's kind of easier to, you know, maybe move it to a place um, where it won't be disturbed. Because like I said, it will take two or three, maybe even four days to dry. So I am putting a piece of plastic down. You could put a piece of parchment paper or wax paper, and then you're gonna take your cookie cutter and you're gonna put it on top of the plate and the plastic or parchment paper or whatever you're using. And then you're gonna take your glue and you are going to just pour your glue into your cookie cutter. And you're gonna pour and pour and pour and pour and pour and pour and pour until it's about an eighth of an inch thick. So you can even get a ruler. So you need a little bit of thickness to it um, so that it kind of stays together. Then what you have to do is leave it alone. <laughs> and it just needs to dry. So each day you can kind of go by and you can kind of poke it and see. Um, I'm gonna use a bigger bottle of glue to actually do this one. So I'm gonna fill this in. Pour, 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 pour. Make sure that the glue gets in all the edges and um, all along everywhere. And after the glue is in, which it is, and for me, and it's about an eight, eighth of an inch thick, which isn't super thick, but it's not super thin either. I am going to take my beads and I'm gonna put them down in to the glue. So these will kind of settle in and dry and make this ornament sort of more decorative. And you can keep adding things. So here are some, in your bag, you'll find these little, um, kind of triangle-y beads that are kind of cool. So you could put those in. And you can try to place them the best that you can. I found that placing things was kind of hard, harder than I thought it was going to be. And so, all right, I think that looks good for me. Maybe one more here. And then you have glitter. And what you can do is you can sprinkle the glitter on top and the glitter will stick. It's almost like putting like sprinkles on top of a cookie is um, what it reminds me of. And I'm gonna see if I can make this so you can see it on camera. It might be kind of hard, but here is mine. Can you see it a little bit? And then what I have to do, which might be the hardest thing, is I have to leave it alone because it needs to just dry and it will take a long time for it to dry. So find a spot where, you know, you won't be tempted to mess with it or maybe you have a cat um, that maybe would like to play with it. So you need to find a spot where it won't be disturbed. Maybe if you have um, a space, like I know if I had a, I don't have a gas furnace right now, but if I had a gas furnace, I might put it close to that because it might dry out pretty quickly. So you're gonna just leave it alone. And then what you're gonna do at the end is you are going to um, get something, like this is just like a little plastic poker, but you could use a plastic knife. And you're gonna take it and um, when this is, dry to touch it, but maybe still kind of flexible is the best time. You're gonna take it and you're gonna kind of poke along um, the outline of the cookie cutter to kind of release it and you'll pop it out. 
And at that point, then you're going to take something sharp. You might need a grown up to help you, um, like a pin or a pen, and make a hole. And then you can hang it up and put it on your tree. So that's it. I hope you enjoy this. And you can do this again and again. So you could use different cookie cutters that you have at home. We gave you a cookie cutter, but you could use other ones too. So I hope you had fun and I hope you come up with some really cool creations.